I was driving down the road the other day and I passed a car I knew and they did not even throw their hand up at me and I was offended. Ew. That's about it though, see? That's too light of a color. They're not ripe till they get almost this blue color, but a day or two longer and then they're not good anymore. I think I watch them right here. When I was a kid and I'd be hungry, because I was always hungry, I still am, and it was getting close to supper time, but it wasn't ready yet, and I'd come in the kitchen and start bugging the people cooking, and they'd say, why don't you just take a cold tater and wait? And I didn't like that, but now that I'm grown, I just come out here and find forage for my own food. I just come out here and eat these grapes right off the vine. I ain't hungry no more. I bought these new pair of pants at the store and they are itching me to death. I have got to get shed of these pants. There's a neighbor that lives down the road and my grandma keeps her dog for her when she's away. She's got a puppy and his name is Petey and he's a very, very small puppy and he's so cute. And when I go to visit, I just want to pick Petey up and wool him to death because he's just darling. How could you not want to? A lot of times babies and toddlers who don't get their nap out are grumpier than if they'd never took a nap in the first place. I rarely get to take a nap, but these days if I do get the opportunity, I try to make sure that I get my nap out. I go in the back bedroom, I lock the door. Before going back there, I announce to everyone that I'm gonna take a nap and no one should wake me up before I get my nap out or I won't be happy. A bunch of wild hogs got in my deer feeder up here on the mountain and they tore up Jack. Sometimes in Appalachia, you'll hear people talk about things they feel very strongly about, things that they are certain, certain that they will do, certain that they will not do. So they'll say something like, as I live and die, I will not do that. Or as I live and die, I will go to town today. It's just something that they're using to emphasize how certain they are about I will or I will not. It's really a, an emphasis kind of thing. And it's fun because it's dramatic. <laughs> When I was a kid and we'd be running around playing outside and we'd have a stick in our hands, the adults would say, please slow down and stop. You're gonna stop your eye out with that stick. When Katie was a little girl and I would get on to her for doing something that she shouldn't, she would look at me with her big brown eyes and she'd say, mama, the Lord wants you to be good to me, mama. Be good to me, the Lord wants you to. Well, she thought that that would be enough distraction and make me think twice about getting on to her for doing something that she shouldn't do, but it never quite worked. Yesterday, Austin and I were in Home Depot and I heard someone say something that I don't usually hear other people say. He said, if you need help, just give me a holler. We say that all the time if someone just needs to call on us, whether it's, hey, give me a holler if you need help, or give me a holler when you're ready, but we say that a lot. So something's come up and I gotta go to town. Where are you going town for? Cat fire to make kitten breeches. We've got a little boy who lives down the road from us and he loves to ride his dirt bike and he rides it all over the place and he'll tell me, Katie, I was going down through there and I was just getting it.
I used to work with a feller that he lied so much his dogs wouldn't come when he called them. If you watch the Press the Garage YouTube, you'll see that I have taken a shine to a sweet boy on there and we're gonna get married soon. I went to the store to buy paint and it was expensive as all get out. So we use the term all get out a lot and it's just used to put emphasis on something. So it might be hot as all get out, cold as all get out, Raining is all get out. I mean, that's not a good example, but we use that term a lot. That's what the neighbor boy does. It crinkles his face like that, and he goes, son? I gotta go to town. No, I don't wanna say that. What was I gonna say? When Katie was a little girl and I'd have to get on to her for doing something she shouldn't, she'd tell me, Mama, I thought the Lord told you. Son, I come out here the other day to get one, and there's a spooter. There's a big old spider up there in the beans, and I thought, spider in a bean patch. So you a lot of times babies and toddlers who don't get their nap out are grumpier than if they had ever not took a nap, if they hadn't even tried to sleep. Let's we'll see, I'm gonna have to wait. A lot of times babies and toddlers are grumpier. Let's we'll see. A lot of... Last night I had to, it was a fight to get them up. And then they squalled like they do when they babies and they wouldn't let me put them in the house. Embarrassing. Hey, hey, hush. Jeez, okay, what?